Hello guys, welcome to this tutorial on Revision Control System, popularly called as RCS. Now let us first understand the context or the reason why we require the use of RCS. Let us suppose that you create a file, sample.txt, and you write some content, okay, a anything, whatever you have written. So this is like a document that you have developed, and now you save it. So you come back after let us suppose five days and you update this particular file once again so you do some modifications delete some of the content and write some new content save it and then again you do it after a few more days again you delete some content write some more all right now if you want to go to the original file can you do it if you will open this file you will always see the it sorry sample.txt you will always see the recent most recent content you cannot go back to what you have originally written or what you wrote the second time or third time or the fourth time you will always see the recent contents the revision control system helps us to create different revisions of the file to which we can come back at any time in the future. It also helps us to compare two particular revisions. Now let us start with the working of RCS. So the first thing that is required is you need to initialize the control of RCS over the file that you want to maintain. Okay. So the first command will be RCS minus I minus I means initialize on the file that you want to work upon. Okay. So let us suppose that the file we are going to work upon is I'm going to create a new file for that. So let us suppose the file name is test.txt. Okay, so this is an empty file as of now. You can see that. Okay, so now I'm going to initialize the control of RCS on this file. Now RCS is a package which might not be installed by default in your system. So if it is not installed, you will get an error something like this. Command RCS not found. If you are using Debian based distributions, for example, Ubuntu or Kali, you need to install it by using the command which is written here itself, sudo apt install RCS. Okay. Sudo is required because you need to have root permissions in order to install a package. Okay, so make sure that you run one more command before this sudo apt update. Okay, this will update the system. So make sure you have a good net connection because it will require the update to be downloaded. Now, once the system is updated, you can run the command sudo apt install and rcs. So now the RCS package is installed. If you are using any other distribution, for example, if you are using Red Hat, Fedora or CentOS, then the commands will remain the same except for one word. So rather than writing apt, you will write yum. So first you will update. So yum update. And once you have updated the system, then you will write yum install. RCS okay so the packages are different for different distributions so now the RCS package is installed in our systems so we can start all over again so the first command RCS minus I test.txt so this is going to initialize the control of RCS on the file test.txt now it will ask you to enter a description now description is nothing but a kind of a short message related to the revision that you are going to create so that once you come back you have an overview that what this file was all about so you can write anything you want let us suppose this is revision one once you are done with the description whatever you want to write press dot and enter you will come out of the description part same thing is mentioned here also terminate with single dot now the file test.txt is under the 
RCS system. Now you are free to use any editor and modify the file as you do it normally. So this is the first revision on the file. So this is let us suppose the content that I want to write. Save it. Remember saving the file is different from creating revisions. Okay. So, so far I have just created a file and saved it. Now once I am ready I know that I don't want to write anything else. So now I need to create my first revision. So the second important command which is to create the revisions is CI which stands for check in. Check in. Okay. CI and then the file name. So my first revision is created. You can see here initial revision 1.1. Now look at this line. It says a left arrow. So this means what? A file test.txt, v is created from test.txt. So if I do ls test.txt, it says no such file because creating a revision converts this .txt file, test.txt file into a comma v file. So you can see there in ls, there is no file as test.txt. The file that is there is test.txt, v. So using CI will convert it into comma v, but you need not to bother about it. For you, the target file will always remain test.txt or whatever name you have specified. Now just to see what is there in the file, you can use the cat command. It will work normally. Now apart from the content that you have written, this file contains some extra information that is there for the RCS system. So you need not to bother about it. Okay, for you, their file should always be with the same name as you have created. Now let us suppose that you want to update this file. So the third command that you to remember is CO. CO stands for check out. So whenever you want to read or modify the contents of the file, you need to use CO. If you simply want to read the contents, so you write CO and the name of the file test.txt. Now you can see here this time the arrow is towards the right. This means the system RCS has generated the test.txt file from the comma v file. Now you can see the test.txt file and you will be able to view the contents. Okay. Now if you want to modify then you need to use CO and minus L option minus L locks the file. This means that if one of the person or one of the user is modifying the file, no one else will be able to do so. So it's kind of a lock. Minus L is a lock. Okay. So make sure you use minus L whenever you want to modify. Now the revision is locked. You can use nano once again to update the file. So let us suppose I add a couple of lines adding new content to the original file. All right. So I've added two more lines, saved it. And now I want to again create another revision. So my command is CI and the file name. So you can see now this new revision 1.2. Previous revision was 1.1. Now we need to give another log message. So let us suppose revision 1.2 and again with dot now we have created two revisions. Now let us suppose I again want to modify. So one more time CO minus L and the file name. Again it is logged. So you can use the editor. So this time I am going to delete one of the lines from in between and add another line. So fifth line. That's it and create another revision using CI once again. So you can see here new revision is 1.3 previous revision was 1.2. So revision 1.3. All right. So in this manner you can go on creating n number of revisions that you want 4, 5, 6, whatever you want. Whenever you log using CO, 
by default it is always going to lock the current revision okay so let us suppose that i want to see what are the contents of the re recent file or recent revision so i will use what co test.txt and it will show me the contents of the recent file okay the problem that i originally described to you was what if i want to see the contents of the first revision then what you need to do is you need to specify the revision minus r 1.1 there's no space this time it will generate the revision number 1.1 so you can see here revision 1.1 earlier it was 1.3 this time if i view cat test.txt so you can see that the contents that i wrote originally in the very first revision three lines only okay similarly if you want to view the contents of second revision you can use minus r 1.2 and you can see the contents of second revision so whatever revision you want other than the default then you need to specify the revision number otherwise if you want to see the recent one then no need to specify the revision number same goes if you want to modify the revisions okay so we have always updated the recent revision now my recent revision is 1.3 if i use co minus l it will update 1.3 but what if you want to modify 1.1 revision then you need to use co minus l but if you want to modify 1.1 revision you need to use minus r 1.1 you need to tell which particular revision you want to modify so you can again see here revision 1.1 locked now if i modify this so you can see this is the original contents okay so modifying revision 1.1 again now if i use ci can you guess what revision number it will give it will not be 1.4 because i have not updated 1.3 okay i have updated 1.1 again in between so the revision number will be 1.1.1.1 so that you know that this particular revision has been created by modifying 1.1 so once again gave a description so in this manner you can even update a previously created revision now two more important commands that you can use first one is r log this is going to tell you the summary of all the revisions that you have created so far so you can see that there are four revisions 1.3 1.2 1.1 and 1.1.1.1 it also gives the information when you updated it who updated it and an important point to note is in the end lines plus 1 means one line was added minus 1 means one line was deleted in revision 1.2 we added two lines and we deleted no line similarly goes for all other revisions now the last command to remember is rcs diff so this is used to see the difference between any two revisions rcs diff it will tell you the difference between Two revisions only. So let us see the difference between revision number 1.1 and revision number 1.3 of the file test.txt. So you can see that it says 3c 3 comma 5. Three this left hand side three refers to the revision number 1.1. The right hand side refer to the revision number 1.3. so it is depending upon the order the left hand side is the first revision number the right hand side is the second revision number so this says that on the left hand side revision number 1.1 the third line is different okay on the file whereas in revision number 1.3 line number 3 4 and 5 are different so if you change line number 3 of the left hand side revision which is 1.1 2 the line number 3 4 5 of 1.3 then both the files will look similar or both the revisions will look similar now let us see difference between 1.1 and 1.2 this time it says 3a 4,5 a means append okay it says that you need to append two lines 4 and 5 so that 
revision 1.1 will become same as revision 1.2. Now if I change the order, that means that if I write 1.1 on the right hand side and 1.2 on the left hand side, you will see here character D, delete, because there were two extra lines in 1.2. So this means that if I delete line number 4 and 5 of revision 1.2, then it will become similar to revision 1.3. So you are going to see three characters A, D and C. A means append, D means delete and C means change. So depending upon what kind of a difference is there between the revisions, you will see either one of those characters or you might even see more than one character. So that was all about RCS. Do not miss out on any of our videos. So do subscribe and keep watching Dextutor. See you in the next tutorial. Thank you.